Hey friends, welcome back to another Claire Hogle video. Today we are at the beautiful Mountain Gate Golf Club. Thank you so much for having us out, Thank Danny. Thank you yes. again. This is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And we're with Danny Farag. You yep. guys know him if you've seen him on the other videos. If you haven't, go watch them. They're always really fun. Really fun. Yes. So that's at Danny Farag on Instagram. Uh, Danny Farag at Golf. Dan the Daniel Farag on Instagram and Danny Farag Golf. Yeah. And this is Adrian Holmes. Yes. Tell yeah. them a little bit about yourself. I play Uncle Phil on the new series Bel Air. It's on Peacock. So mm -hmm. definitely check it out. And yes. on Star Trek Strange New Worlds on Paramount Plus. Yeah. So super excited Great to have you shows. on the channel. Thank you so much for doing this Thank you for us. having me. This was so much fun. And please check out Blackout on Netflix coming, I think, September 14th. Uh, action movie. I'm in it. You get to see my head Ooh. blown up. And I produced it too. So a lot of fun. Super uh, cool. Yeah, you'll like it. Awesome. Today we're going to talk a little bit about right eye dominance, left eye dominance, and right handed golfers and left handed golfers and what the optimal way to play is. So. Enjoy. A lot of interesting yeah. content in this. Let's I get into it. I hope you learned something. <laughs> you will, that's for sure. That unmistakable oh. rhythm. Oh my goodness. That was delivered. Delivered. <laughs> that was delivered. Signed oh, you got that? Delivered. Oh, yeah. I want that <laughs> on my. For IG. Oh, my he wants that. He wants that. <laughs> See if I can follow that up. Oh, beautiful. Little, little off on the right, the little right. Get on the car path, just close to it. Yep. Boom. There we go. I'm by you. Yeah, yeah. You come hang out with me. We'll hang out. Hello. I'll be your friendly neighbor. <laughs> I have 129. I'm going with an eight iron. Right at it. Okay, hopefully that's the number. A little firm, but you're over there. I think I'm too hard. Maybe in the bunker. There's a bunker back there. I've, it's happened before. <laughs> yes. Great shot. Amazing from there. This putt is right to left. The green breaks at about this angle, so slightly downhill, slightly right to left. You know what? Over it, I was <laughs> realizing that it's actually uphill. <laughs> Probably should have stepped off that one. Turn. Boom. Set myself up <laughs> for the hero mate. On a great line, keep oh, coming. Oh man, so good. Oh, oh Danny, my boy. Danny boy, that hurts just a little, didn't it? Yes, great putt, Adrian. Thank you. As long I as you finish strong, right? Exactly, exactly. That's my mo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, well, it's okay. <laughs> I'll buy you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, I that works every right time. Away. There you go. It never happened. It never happened. <laughs> you know, we gotta have, oh. we gotta have memories like goldfish out here. Yeah. I tried to, it's tough. Short term. There's so much useless information in my head. I know a lot about little things. <laughs> 190, really long par three here for a female. I have a hybrid and gotta hit this one good. Little low bullet, see if it catches. Sit, sit, sit. Good shot. Uh, I'll take it. I got nine iron, 190. Right. I hate when I, I hate when I finish a shot. Is it's findable? We can play that as opposed to next to the pin. 
It's coming though. Tempo, repetition. From the moon surface. That will hopefully equal mastery. But you can't master this game. Nobody masters this game. High risk shot. Yes. And it pays off. Beautiful. Beauty. Nice shot. The thing of beauty, brethren. Yes. You just want to touch it. What do you want? You just want to touch it. You just want to touch it. You don't really want to. You don't want to move it? No. Not no, much movement no, no. occurring, but just, just really a touch. I don't want my head to get burnt, so. Yes, go in the. Oh, All right. Robbery. Robbery. <laughs> Time to quit golf. That right eye dominant thing? Yeah, I think so. You know what? It might be. Maybe. Nice. And you are left eye dominant? I'm left eye dominant. Makes sense why you made that putt. Left eye dominant. People are good putters. <laughs> They're Apparently. just superior. Apparently. Really. Well, really, it, it is a level of superiority. 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 Right, right eye dominant people superiority. really just get away with it. <laughs> That's power. good. And you almost caught the car path for even more effortless power. <laughs> <Son. laughs> the last one, the last one that got me. Okay, so Danny and I were talking a little bit about eye dominance and left-handed and right-handed players earlier in the round. And I wanted to talk a little bit about it on this video because I think there's really something to it. Danny, let's talk about some of the things that you know, the left-handed, right-handed, yeah. how it helps you align, well, which way we think is Sure, I better. think I started to notice that there was like really elite athletes share this dominant feature of one of their eyes being their focal eye. Yes. And it's opposite to their, what hand they are. Yes. So I know. Right-handed players are that left are, eye dominant. Right-handed players that are left, that are target side dominant. Yes, so the target eye. Tend to be eye. better players. It's interesting. Yes. Better strokes when they putt. Yes. And more elite athletes. Yeah. It's kind of very interesting and there's to some, dive into there's it. some like really good points behind it, some science behind it, you know, pseudoscience that we're making up with our yeah. minds, but it really makes sense yeah. and we're gonna well, talk. check this out if if your left eye is dominant you can have a longer swing and still focus on the ball and why is that because your uh, your left eye because your nose seeing, doesn't your nose get in is, the way exactly yeah so on your backswing i'm right eye dominant i lose the ball at about this point if i was left eye dominant i could still, still see the see ball it. so we that's how we brought and it you up and also with a left eye dominant player you can line up over the ball most right eye and 80% of people are right eye dominant. They have to line up like this. Yes. And then approach the, yes. you know, and, do, and even with and putts. And have a have a intermediate point. Of course. Because left eye dominant, they just see the line from this side. Yeah. Right eye dominant, I have to have like this weird swivel. Well, you so got to put your right eye on it, your dominant eye, so that you can see it. Exactly. So yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. So I'm going to use my stupid right eye dominant with right handed swing, backside dominance calibration to hit this drive now. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> mm. See? That wouldn't have happened if I was left eye dominant. <laughs> no, that was still pretty good. Pretty good. Still little push off to good. the right. A little 240 down the right is yeah. fine. Yeah. So we're just going to keep filming our shots, but talk about this concept throughout. Um, teach you. I totally agree. Yeah. We're going to teach you guys how to test at home, whether you're right or left eye dominant. Um, whether And that will inform whether you should, like if you're still starting golf, whether you should start left eye dominant or start left handed, start right handed. And how should you, how you should start your kids too. The one there, Adrian? Coming to hang out with me, Adrian? On the right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Typical. I, I, I really enjoy your company. <laughs> well, ditto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is called the blind shot. Over the hills. Let's see uh, how we fare. Yes, so good. Oh my gosh. Get on. 
I just have no idea where the green is, but that was amazing. That was a well-struck ball. I like that feel. Let's hope we can continue on the next hole. Thank you. Use the a force, button. Claire. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of using the force in golf. Oh, yeah. If you're not a target set golfer. Uh, right. That was to the right of the midpoint. That you right gave at the me. midpoint, but we'll find it. Yeah. So there's a couple of ways to check your eye dominancy. My ball is right there. I'm looking at it with both my eyes open. I make a circle with my hands, my fingers, and I put it where I think it's over the ball, still focusing on the ball. And then you start closing eyes. So I'm closing my right eye. I see the ball very clearly. Close my left eye, the ball's gone. So I know I'm left eye dominant. Also, when you have a range finder, what do you automatically do? You will automatically go to your right. Really? Your stronger eye. How people use the yeah. left side? Yeah, I'm, this is me the whole time. I'm always left side. He's uh, a target side golfer. I'm a target side golfer. Yeah, that's why and he's a lot such of a good natural. Are target side. Yeah, and, makes sense. Yeah. Actually, truly, he has an amazing game, and I think a lot of it has to do with his rhythm. You have a really natural ability. Um, oh, thank you. Be really close. Hit. Oh, we're a little long. Good shot, too. I get it. Good color, but the same type of shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, yeah. that's an 18 million dollar. So we learned something. Potential. We gotta it's learn good. something from that shot. A little too much 100%. hot sauce. <laughs> too much pepper sauce on that one. Missed a little bit right, but this is a pretty fun shot. I'm gonna use that thing that Fred taught me the wrist to get this to come out high and soft. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the cupped wrist for you. That is so great. Wow. That's Thank such you. a great shot. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> wow. I put the brakes on. Now you can do it. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna try that. Oh, good effort. The you're thing right, about your right eye dominant. Yeah. The thing about putting with yeah. one hand is that you have to keep it really like stable. You can't jerk it because the face will do weird stuff. You have to keep it. I like to say you have to keep your putter like inside your hands. You can't let it get outside of your hands. So I know that they're like Phil Mickelson yeah. is right eye dominant, but his dad made him play lefty yeah. because it makes sense your right arm is a stronger arm so if you can swing lefty it's it does make sense because he, he wrote everything he yeah. does right-handed but golf yeah. so he's target side dominant yeah. because his right side his right eye is a dominant one and he plays left left-handed interesting and he's a great and player. he's left -handed. so but, it's like all in his yeah. favor he had stronger on the left side and has target exactly. side dominance and there's so he correlation was like set up for success and that's interesting we can talk about how you if you're still a beginning golfer and you still have a chance to switch like if you've just started in the past year and you sure, figure out your target it. side dominance try it and your kids if you're going to start your kids definitely check the target side dominance and right-handed left-handed totally phil was set up with being left-handed yeah, totally. and having a dominant totally. eye on that side. Yeah. So like, there is correlation to eye dominancy in like elite athletes. Yes. There's a lot of elite athletes, not only golfers, but like James Worthy, for example, he's left eye dominant and right-handed. Yeah. I believe also when you go to golfers, you got Brad Faxon, Ben Crenshaw, Amazing Tiger, putters. Jack Nicholas. They're all the best golfers yeah and their target side dominant yeah, because just right. think about it you're yeah. standing over a putt and your left eye is seeing the line to the hole all the time well what can you On think of any side, other uh, other other sport where that is more important it's golf golf is like you're playing it's a sideways game you're playing this way. there's there's more so, sideways games i'd have to think on that yeah, one. Well, but hockey <laughs> but if <laughs> you, know? you are an established golfer like me and i'm not going to turn no, left-handed anytime no soon i might though i might don't. Be on the lookout for that. I might though, because it be it could be a fun series starting you're pretty over. Good. You're pretty good but righty. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's ways that you can still play great golf. Sure. With 
being the wrong side well, or being there, the side that's not as well helpful. there are a lot of, i mean there's a huge amount of fantastic golfers that are right side dominant and play righty so it's not like you can't yes you just have but to what trick you have, you have to do little is, tricks what you have to do yeah. is learn how to align properly because Big that's time. always going to be a, more of a struggle for the not target side dominant exactly. so let's talk about how they can do that so for me as a right eye dominant player playing right-handed, so not target side, I have to set up from behind it and I have to pick a midpoint. Otherwise, when I'm over the ball, I can't see straight. You just don't trust it. I just can't. Yeah. Left yeah. eye dominance can probably yes. see a lot straighter. So my eyes affect the way that I see a shot. So I have to use something, not literal, but pick a midpoint. So find your target, draw back on the ground. You can practice setting up with an actual tee or something, but when you're out playing golf in a tournament, you have to pick something on the ground. So I would pick this blade of grass and I would be sure that I set up to, I set my club first and then I set my feet and then I set my hands and shoulders. So let's go ahead and do that. So lining up to my tee, walk into it, feet are square, set the club up perpendicular on a line parallel to that tee and your target, set the feet parallel to that, hands and shoulders, and just make a good straight swing and you should be good. Thank you. Thanks. So good. Had to do that to prove my point. You guys wouldn't have trusted me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, we got through that one a bit more. <laughs> I saw you kind of slide a I little. I wanted to hook point. it. Okay, I'm just gonna try and remember everything you just broke down to the, the beautiful people. You, here, I'll show you. Let's do okay. it together. Okay, okay. So let's gonna... step behind it. All right. Find mm -hmm. your target. Is your target kind of where those sprinkle, sprinklers are going Yes, on? yes. Draw a line down on the ground. Find something in between. Where so might like, that be? Like, uh, let's, let's put this dirt something like that perfect right there so that will be your intermediate target so then you walk into it set the hands first so the hands perfect then spread your feet parallel to that line perfect hands and shoulders are square you got it nice smooth swing all right happens that's golf yeah <laughs> but that's so how what, you what i how felt you sure though aligned correctly. what i did feel was a bit of a slip in my hands mm. which opened my club face this way, mm -hmm. which I think caused the ball to spin. Yeah, you know, I a lot need, of variables. I, I, right, I need to keep it closed and mm -hmm. that's golf. That is golf. But we'll get it. Yep, you guys can't really tell, but the slope here is insane. It is at this angle down. And this is, this is a tough hole. Uh-oh. Oh, not bad actually. Yeah. I thought it was heading right. I had a weird depth perception. Right at the little stakes there. Beautiful. You see that heavy hit? He always gets a heavy hit. Right on the right edge of this fairway here. All right. Yeah, this is a long par five here. Okay, my target here is just over that white sign. Gonna aim left to compensate for some wind and the slope. Okay, tough shot there. Played it up the left. Hopefully it kicks right for me. Yes, so good. Just left, just left, stay. Amazing from way back there on that slope. Incredible. So, heavy hit. Okay, just sort of that right bunker there. Perfect, he's chipping. Okay, got 103 yards, but um, uphill, it's 110. So, taking my 48 degree wedge here. Aiming left and playing the slope here. Cut. Oh, man. Okay, mm -hmm. longer. Weird, weird lie there. <laughs> oh, come on back. Yep. That is a member's play right there. Shout out Danny for having a Good to use the hill, Danny. Gorgeous. Sit, sit, sit. You know what? That was just That's the such a hard shot. Yeah, you know what? It landed at the worst spot. It did. Yeah, it, was, it, it kicked off the hill. I know. It, it landed at a really steep spot where yeah. it wasn't going to grab at all. And it got jets and went. It did. Great shot. That's really, really good. 
Just to leave it on. That's a great shot. Yeah, Look at that. a dangerous hill there, right? Yeah. That was a great shot. Oh, oh man, oh. went through the flagstick. Wow. Can I have it? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A little bit of teach. Turn. Pulled by uh. BMW. Yes, <laughs> I'm sponsored by them. Roll, roll, roll. Let it go. Roll, roll, roll. roll. <laughs> You know what? That was a great putt. Oh, that was a great Because I'm on the hill, I didn't want to really hit it that hard. Knowing me, I would have... Yep. <laughs> I know. I just love this sound. Oh, the turkey gobble. Not the pin, but... So, 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 so. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> nice plan with you guys. Nice plan with you. So good. Awesome. So good. Unfortunately, the camera died, so we're filming this on a phone, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I think that that is such an interesting concept, and I thought there's really something to this. I want to share this with you guys because I'm pretty blown away. If you guys have any other information on this that we didn't touch on, any other cool ideas, things that you know about this concept, please leave them in the comments below. And also let us know if you are going to be using some of the new tips and I don't know if it taught you something, <laughs> something useful. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell notification to get notified when I post. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.